thought I would do a bit of an impromptu video today. Um, I know I did like a flat tour and things like that, but I've never done a tour of like my wardrobe and my walk-in and like how I organise everything and I love watching those videos. So I thought I would take you around my walk-in wardrobe and just show you how I organise everything, where I put everything and if there's any little gadgets or anything, I'll try and tell you where they're from. So I have big walk-in doors, excuse the fact that I've not made my bed, I'm just about to do that. <laughs> um, but we have the walk-in side over here which I actually built myself. I got my granddad to take out the door frame that was up there um, and just made it into like a whole big space that you can walk in. Um, I do have a picture of myself up here and this is in glass. This was... Uh, bought for me by one of my old business partners, so I just thought that was really nice. Over here I have got all of my, well I say all of my, some of my jewellery. Um, like boxes and bracelets and things up here. Uh, got some more like dainty bracelets, uh, bangles and then necklaces over here. And then I just put like little rings and earrings and stuff in all the little cubby holes. I don't know where this is from, however I think it might have been from Amazon. This was a present. So I'm not sure, but I think it, you can get like a similar thing on Amazon and you just like, it hooks onto the wall up here. So you can just hang it up there. Over here I've got my kind of bookshelf. So I use little hangers to put up a couple of bags, some more necklaces and my little, um, I don't know what you call this, it's like a fancy hat. Um, it's a fascinator, that's what they're called. And then up the top, I've just got some bags on the shelf and a couple of shoe boxes. I've also got this little rose gold basket and I just put like little clutch bags and things in there. Um, I had to put an extra shelf in the other day just because I bought loads of shoes the other week. So I needed more space, but I just kind of try and arrange them the best I can. Um, so we've got sort of like stilettos and heels on the first few shelves, some wedges and then some sandals, some more kind of like summer heels down here and then down the bottom, I don't know if you can see back there, got some boots back there, some more little heels and then sort of like high boots, knee high boots and like, yeah, just more boots down there. Then we come around here and I've got this little rose gold basket. I got this in TK Maxx, I think it was about £10. And in here I just pop in like some bags. I think there's another pair of work shoes down there. Um, and I just sort of like throw in all of the bags that I use like on a daily basis kind of thing. Over here I've got my three kind of like display shelves. So I've got another little jewellery stand. This definitely was from Amazon. I think this was about... 20 pounds I want to say. Um, a little diffuser just to make it smell nice and my favourite belt. Um, this is giving me serious uh, dynasty vibes, I love it. I've got my Balenciaga trainers, another pair of Balenciagas there. The annoying thing about white ones is you always get like stuff on here like when you put take them on and off which is I need to clean those. Um, Balenciaga boots there, I've got my pair of Miu Miu little heels. If anyone remembers Tumblr these were huge on Tumblr and these are the ones with the like different ties that go up your leg. Love those. And then up the top we've got more Balenciaga heels, a pair of Playboy heels and just two more bags. We've got a Gucci one and a Louis Vuitton one up there. So I just try and keep these as like my nice things or like the things that I'm wearing the most of. So I'll like chop and change it if I'm using more of something from over there so I can grab it quicker. Then down here I've got all my sunglasses on this sunglass stand. Now these are all my like non-designer sunglasses. So these are like all high street ones. These ones are Alexander McQueen but they're more kind of like my like don't really mind about them ones. And then in the drawers is where I keep all my designer ones. So we've got like Gucci ones, Fendi ones, a couple of pairs of Versace ones, um, Dolce & Gabbana there. There's some Dior ones in the back and I just keep like all of my nice ones in the boxes because then when I take them out I use the cases whereas these ones I don't really have cases for. I have then got my Dior work bag and when I'm not using my little Balenciaga one I pop that just in this little gap. I've got a few boxes, so a pair of gym trainers, um, some nice boots. I keep stuff in here that I don't necessarily want to get like dusty. So I've got some flat shoes down here as well because I wouldn't really put flat shoes like in the shelves over there. Then over this side I've got my a couple of bags up there that I managed to fit. 
some little hats on a hook and then a couple of bags so I've just got this little one I managed to get on eBay for like three pound I think it was or something but I just thought that was cute um, this one I'm not gonna tell you where it's from because it took like two months to arrive which I, I wouldn't kind of say to you to buy it from there but I know you can get a lot of these on like the Instagram like shops and things like that and then I've got my vintage Dior saddlebag there and then my absolute pride of place uh, Penn Halligan's collection if you haven't watched the video I'll link it down below but these are all the different ones so this is the one that's um, discontinued then I've got a few other fragrances a couple of the like little roll on ones um, and just my tiny mini Gucci perfume I don't put all my perfumes out just because I have too many um, but I just like having my Penn Halligan's ones out now the rest of my perfumes go in these little drawers so I wanted something in the wardrobe that I could just like put little things in so I've got my sunglasses in that one in this one I keep like all beauty stuff so I've got lipsticks I've got like all the Charlotte Tilbury ones and I've got more of my perfumes so this is the big version of that Gucci one I think this has my name on it yes it does um, and then I've got the Yves Saint Laurent one this is one of my favorite perfumes um, I've got a Bulgari one in there just like creams and like Vaseline and stuff in this one a few bits of makeup and then these are like my just makeup that I'm not using everyday drawers um, some eyelashes I have eyelash extensions so I don't really wear these but I keep them just in case we've got some eyebrow dye stuff tint stuff and then in this little box under here I keep loads of my earrings um, and then some more just like spare beauty blenders and stuff like that in this drawer. Next drawer down, got all my hair stuff. So I've got like fake tan, um, a couple of body sprays, just like some random bits in here. I don't even know what that is. Just like some hair stuff. All of that goes in that little basket. That's the same as the gold one that's up on the top of the shelves. Then just loads of hair bands. Um, a few other bits in there, some hair gel, and then I keep my hair dryer in here as well, just so I can easily like grab all of these bits. Next drawer, I've got like bags and stuff. So I've got little like cosmetic bags that I use to put things in when I take things away. Um, spare purse. Um, this is actually tape. This is actually medical tape for my knee because I have a bad knee, um, but that goes in there too. Um, my cap, and then I've got this little box. This is like a little guest box that a purse came in. And I just thought it'd be a cute place to keep oh, all of my like lipsticks and lip glosses and stuff like that because I don't really know where else to put them. It's all of these like little things I don't know where to put. And bottom drawer, I've just got like makeup palettes. These are like um, d uh, dust bags for shoes just in case I take them anywhere um, and I don't want to protect them. I've got belts in here. These little sock things, so this is like a little revolution of mine. So these little sock things, you get them when you try on shoes in a shop. I think I've got one of the packets here yeah so these ones I took from the Prada store the other week and they're just brilliant so if I'm putting boots on or something like that I just wear these tiny little socks instead of wearing like normal ones I'm sure you can actually buy them but I just steal them when I try on shoes in shops but yeah a couple more belts and things and then I think there's a purse in there as well so now I'm going to move over to the main wardrobe space and um, these are the Ikea Pax wardrobes oh, can see my slippers say princess on them my nan got them for me <laughs> oh well um so these are the ikea pax wardrobes these are actually spare drawers that would normally like hang in here but i wanted them on the top because i had some space so these two and i think there's another one on that end when i open that door um have got all like other spare bags in i have way too many handbags but i just like having them like in the little trays and i kind of organize it so i know where everything is so i've got like big bags in there and then a couple of like different style like maybe summer bags and then like clutch bags and stuff in there and then all of the drawers here so I kind of categorized my wardrobe so this skirt the leather dyes everything so I leave that on its own um, so I protect that with the blazer I've got a few like skirts and trousers in there I've got my going out dresses my day dresses a few more day I've got a lot of dresses um, like tops in here smaller tops jumpers and then shirts and then this dress also I just kind of like keep it at this end because I don't really ever wear it 
Um, and then the same with this. This is a Givenchy shirt. Um, I think this was actually one of the catwalk ones, but I don't really ever wear it, so I've got all jumpers and shirts in that end. Under here, in the top drawer, I love this drawer, but this is my main like costume jewellery drawer. So I've got all my little like small earrings in this side. Um, these are some Gucci earrings. Um, like all the bigger ones and the hoops and things like that go in here. I've got my main like chunky chunky earrings in here. Um, and then more just like necklaces. These little cubby holes, I can't really see what's in them, so I just like hide stuff that I don't really wear or is more like sentimental jewellery. Um, yeah, there's like a couple of crystal ones in there that I don't really wear that much. Um, and then like big necklaces. This is a bracelet I bought in Cheltenham. I absolutely love this one. It was in a shop called Pink Vintage Cheltenham. So if you look them up on Instagram, they've got some amazing stuff if you live near there. And just more like costume necklaces. Um, and a few more like this is like a little choker so I just like put things in all the little cubby holes um, just so I can kind of see it all because I realise that if I can't see it I don't wear it so then we go over to the third side let's slide those doors across and in here we've got all of my coats and jackets now I don't know about you but I have so many coats and jackets it's a joke so we've got like smart blazers and things organized this end oh it just went really dark there we go I put the light on so you can see so I've got smart jackets and blazers here denim leather a um, couple more blazers I probably need to organize these a little bit better because I don't actually really know where anything is um, there's the All Saints leather jacket another denim one um, but I try and do it so there's like short jackets here so I can see this half and then everything long goes on this side. Um, puffer coats and like rain jackets and then all of this is long stuff. So this is like long cardigans, my teddy coat, um, this is my Marc Jacobs coat, just like the trench coat and then like long dresses and um, like gowns and jumpsuits and stuff that I need to hang up and then under here is all of my stock for Luna Rose so if you see my makeup brand this is where all the stock is um, all of my KD swim bikinis I've got video on that like unboxing all of these as well and then all of my nail stuff that I bought in lockdown as well and then my little nail drill here got my just a pair of trainers um, another little basket with like clutch bags and stuff in it um, there's another hairband in there as well at the, like uh, right underneath there is my gym bag you can tell how much I go to the gym at the moment um, and there's another pair of boots but I just try and like pack this up because my cat likes to jump up here and he scratched up all of this so I just tried to like pack all of that so that he didn't see it in there we've got like socks and underwear and stuff so I won't show you that um, I think don't know what this one is oh this is all like hoodies so I rolled them all up and like stuffed them in that way this is a really good trick if you've got like big hoodies and you want to fit them all in just kind of roll them up into like little parcels and then slot them in and it really works worked for me anyway in this one we've got pajamas and like comfy clothes and then down here is all my um, this is my tennis clothes all my gym clothes and then I've got a little box in there I just use like an old shoe box and there's loads more bikinis and swimsuits and stuff in there as well so I know that that was very short and sweet but I just thought I'd give you a quick tour around um, probably gonna have to end up adding another shelf in here because I just have so many shoes it's ridiculous um, I've got another thing like two things in my hallway with boots and flat shoes and stuff in and oh just there's just too many shoes to buy but thank you so much for watching um, I hope you're all having a great weekend and are keeping safe and warm and I will see you guys soon